Anyway, we gotta talk about Tommy Tuberville. He's... He's apparently got a take on the border that... yeah, it, Of course it makes sense, right? Every single Republican ever has had a take on the border. But let's go ahead and take a listen to what his is after we get into the fan art section. And then uh, we'll see exactly why he thinks we need a more secure border. But... First of all, uh, this is from Axolotls with Cream. After three or four months of an art block, furries with hats. Sirius, that kills people. But Axo, I had a rumbly in my tummy that only hands would satisfy. <laughs> Thank you very much for your fan art submission. If you want your fan art to be shown in a future video, drop it into the Discord, and I appreciate every single bit of fan art that comes my way still these days. Thank you very, very much. With that said, let's go ahead and talk about Tommy here. I've got a recording uh, of one of his takes recently, and we are going to listen to that while we shoot people. We need to uh, ask God for, our, for help. Hold on, we need to we need to increase his volume because his volume is low. Let's just we need to uh, ask God for our for help. Yeah, because our do. country needs help. We're in a tough situation right now. Okay, uh, what is the tough situation, Tommy? I'd love to know what the tough situation is that we need to get help with. Uh, I'm right here in the middle of it. Uh, I get to see it every day. Okay, and really? You're exactly right. We live in a constitutional republic that's trying to do things without our Judeo-Christian values, and that's how this country was built. Wait, how does being in a constitutional republic change anything in regards to religion? Like, why does it matter that we are a constitutional republic? I, I like that they use that word instead of democracy because people really like hammering on the fact that we're not a democracy, which is, like, technically only true in a very, very broad sense. Oh, hello! Hi, Foot Barn! You had a lot of guns. Plenty of guns. I needed your guns. Thank you. I appreciate your guns. They look better on me, though. Anyway, whether or not uh, we were a country founded on Judeo-Christian values is something that I've I've ceased caring about a long time ago. I care more about what is functional right now. And right now, it turns out, as far as I'm concerned, having a country that is largely... Uh, hello, you forgot to get shield. That is a you problem. Having a country that... You had shield and you didn't use it! That's a skill issue! Anyway, having a country... Sorry. <laughs> that posts itself up on its religious values, regardless of how outdated they might be, and even having the idea that the country might be uh, unable to update its values to be in compliance with the needs of the constituents of the country, merely because a book said so, is probably one of the biggest failings of supposed theocracy that I could ever point to. Saying we're not a democracy, we're a republic is like saying it's not a mammal, it's a bear. You're not an animal, you're a human. I mean, well, a human is a type of animal. It is a it is a mammalian animal to be precise. Buddy, you are a threat to me because you breathe. Stop. You had a frenzy auto and you didn't use it on me. Why did you not use? The very good weapon in your inventory. Why did you use your submachine gun that didn't work? I do not understand people sometimes. But let's continue. Tommy. And we got to get back to that. If we don't, we won't make it. The biggest thing right Okay, what is... I, this is the other thing I don't understand. This vagary. We got to get back to that. We got to get back to our Judeo-Christian values. Okay, cool. Which Judeo-Christian values and we won't make it. So what do you think happens when America doesn't make it? Do we get, what, taken over by the snow Mexicans in Canada? Like, is that is that what happens, Tommy? Like, I don't know what that statement means. It, it seems very deliberately vague. And like, it could mean anything. Like, does it mean America's gonna die? Does it mean it's gonna be fundamentally changed for the rest of time? All the above? Like, which one? Yeah, Canada's going to come take us over, and then we're no longer going to have Republicans influencing what happens in Canada. Uh, and then we're going to get free health care. And, you know, 
actually, this invasion of the snow Mexicans seems like better. <laughs> like it makes America better more the more I think about it. But right let's now, continue. I will tell you is what's going on at our southern border. Uh, when you've got a country without borders, you don't have a country. Again, it goes back to one thing. You know, this is like saying if you don't have a city, like if you don't have a city with borders, you don't have a city. Like, we have a border. The the border down there is a legal thing. I wonder if Tommy Tuberville has actually gone down to the southern border to like take a look at it and see how it is and how it functions to, I don't know, maybe talk to some of the people who work there, some of the people who work for ICE. Uh, maybe, maybe he'd have a, a perspective if he did that. But something tells me he didn't. Why do you not have a shield, my guy? I'm begging you on my hands and knees. If you pick a fight with me, please have a shield. I'm no longer asking. So these are Republican? Probably not. No, they'd rather just yell and scream about it instead of actually doing anything to fix it. Whatever it is and whatever fixing it requires. However vague they can make that. How mad would Tommy be if a Satanist won the presidency? Dude, he'd be livid. He'd be livid. But okay, so apparently we have to secure the southern border because uh, unlike a, can a Canada invasion, the, the brown Mexicans are coming, and that's bad. So let's take a listen. Thing. God is not in this building. We've got to get God back in this building. We've got to get God back in our country. We've got to get the God back in the nuclear family. We have to get moral values back into our country. And you can't do that when you have a million people every couple of months come into this country that know nothing about God, that what? know nothing about our laws and constitution. That doesn't make any sense to me, though. Hold on. So Tommy is saying that the Mexicans coming into in our border know nothing about God. Does he not realize that... Mexico has an incredibly high rate of people who are Catholic. Like, there's a ton of people who are Christian in Mexico. And yet, apparently, they don't know God. Also, people coming up to the border, you know, to get citizenship, people have to know stuff about the U.S. Constitution. Like, they have a whole test they have to do, which is harder to do for actual United States citizens than it should be. The test for U.S. citizenship requires you to know more than the average U.S. citizen. I just... It, this stuff confuses me, right? Because what is the actual problem? Because the, the problem can't be that they're godless. Because, again, Mexico has a high rate of Catholic fundamentalism. There's plenty of Christians that are Mexicans. It can't be that. That can't be what the issue is. So then the issue has to be something else. Could it be their work ethic? Well, it can't be that. They hold more jobs than actual Americans do sometimes. So sometimes multiple times at once. So it can't be that either. So which is it? Is it the, hmm, I can't quite figure it out. I can't quite figure out what difference there would be between somebody who's Mexican and somebody in the United States if to get citizenship here they have to have uh, better knowledge of the U.S. Constitution than even a U.S. citizen does uh, if their work ethic is wonderful uh, if FBI statistics show that they actually are responsible for less crime than a U.S. citizen and they have an incredibly high rate of Christendom I just I'm so confused also how's it going Rayomi? Uh, we're, we're talking about a, uh, a person named Tommy Tuberville who thinks that America needs to stop letting Mexicans in because they don't know Jesus. Despite them being one of the most Catholic countries in the world and therefore having lots and lots of Jesus. So I'm trying to find what the actual denominator is, like what the actual thing that Mexicans are that makes Tommy Tuberville not want them in America. And I'm, I, my list is getting shorter and it's, it's starting to look only like it's that they're brown. I, 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 it can't be because of work ethic. 
Because again, stats don't bear that out. It can't be because of criminality. Because again, stats don't bear that out. It can't be because Christiosity, which is which is what he said it is. But stats don't bear that out. So I'm left with only a handful of differences between Mexicans and Americans. And <laughs> color me shocked. The only one I can think about. an actual senator for Alabama who fucking lives in Florida. Yeah. It's just such a confusing thing. Why would you... I, again, and also saying, like, the United States can't have... He says that the United States can't be a nation of God. Oh, dear. The United States can't be a nation of God. If it has open borders. But that's confusing too. Because as a former Christian. I'm fairly certain. That even Jesus Christ. Would say. Hey maybe we should let in all of these people. So we can teach them about the word of God. I I feel like. That would be the more Christian thing. Right? Let more people into the nation. So that they can learn the. You know the, the ways of God. That would make more sense to me. But that's not what Tommy's advocating for. He just wants to bar them all away. Which is, you know, very, very weird to me. Again, I can't find many uh, many issues with Mexicans in America that he could possibly be having that are specific. Oh, I died instantly. That's fun. Said so the whole Good Samaritan story is conveniently forgotten by them. Yeah, yeah, no, the entire point of the Good Samaritan story is just gone. Tommy Tuberville certainly didn't give a crap about God when he was holding up several military families from moving. Remember when we covered that with Vice Rhino? He wasn't worried about God then. He thinks that everybody outside of the United States must obviously know nothing about Jesus at all, which again, doesn't make any sense at all. This is this is probably just the best Alabama can do though. I, I feel I feel bad for Alabama. This is the best they can do in terms of representatives. Anyway, that's Tuberville. That's all we had to talk about where he's concerned. I know it's not a whole lot, but there ain't a whole lot going on in that noggin of his, all things considered. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Instant end of video tagline here. Hey, I just quickly want to give a thank you to all of my wonderful patrons who keep this show running. YouTube and Twitch are a pretty bumpy ride at the best of times, and the stability a Patreon provides me is worth more than I can say here. I'd also like to thank each and every one of my $20 and up patrons here, and they would be Red Joker, Britzkrieg, Cameron, Dren, Gemshin, Smiling DM, Poundini, Mabity Babity, Naomi, Isaac, Nixie Chan, The Oberon Team, Agamotto, Jordan, Ravi, Juni, Curatorian, Prisma, all of you, Sagittarius, I'm not saying that part, and Starlight. And finally, thank you to everyone else that helps keep this channel alive. While you're here, why not check out another video? And thank you for watching.